one of the main pillars in the Modesto community. It seems well, like everywhere I go, there you are. Well, t you know, today, if I'd have known I was wearing a blue shirt, I probably look like a talking <laughs> head, I think. You know, fading out, my shirt's Let, fading. Let's look at it on the monitor. Oh, it, it is almost all, the exact same. It's a talking head. Here, maybe we can put this behind your shoulder a little bit. There we go. There we go. Bring some color <laughs> okay, into it. <laughs> I'll choose a so, better shirt next okay, time. Okay, we, we have, oh, I'm glad you wrote down Measure T, because yeah. somebody's going to call in to my radio show oh, on good. Friday to talk about that. Joshua, good. um... As Steve's is calling in. Okay. So, I, and I know nothing about it, so you can tell me about it tonight. So I sound I can. smart for him on Friday. I can do that. So, okay, yes on Measure T. So we'll hold that up so yeah. you can see that. Um, all right. I would like to talk about Fourth of July just That's for fine. about three minutes Not and then problem. get to those points. So, Fourth of July parade. You are the. Um, Chairman. Chairman. Yeah, I was going to say the flagship, but that's the wrong <laughs> word. But you are the uh, person who really gets everybody involved and organized. Well, we work so, together. We have a team, and Athens Abel is on that team, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. And uh, she, she did a great job. I've been showing up for meetings, and that's, that's right. about it. <laughs> She's been showing up for meetings, and she did such a great job last year. She, we just had to have her on our on our committee, and we're glad that she's with us. And then not only that, at our VIP setting, uh, her husband's going to come and play some banjo for us, and boy, we're going to have a good time. But uh, that is coming up really, really soon. We want you to go ahead and get your information in. How do you do that? WW Modesto July Parade. WW Modesto July Parade. It's very simple. Dot com. What you do is you go on the website. It has everything you need to know about how do you get signed up, how do you uh, participate as far as volunteerism, where the, even the porta potties are. So you can strategically place yourself <laughs> to where if you had to use the restroom, you will know where that is at. That's, we laugh about it now, but I'll tell you what, it's very important, especially very if you important. have children. Yeah. Very important. And uh, it's going to be a great, wonderful uh, 4th of July. It is now going to be the 138th annual celebration. And the most important thing is it starts a half hour early, too. It does. Thank you for seeing. She's on, I'm telling you, she's on the job. <laughs> it's going to start a half hour earlier out the gate, which where is where Athens will be, at the gate, the beginning of the entrance, and she will have her, her programming going on there. And, of course, you'll be able to hear everything she's saying, and so that would be a wonderful thing. And then you'll know about all the things coming out. But people are going to think I have you on here just as a commercial for me. <laughs> well, it, it's, it's nothing wrong with that. Athens <laughs> Abel. <laughs> <laughs> Who is going to be your grand marshal? Grand marshal is uh, uh, Carl Boyette Petroleum. He is an outstanding contributor, uh, gener generous individual who has been so uh, kind to our community over the years and um, it was only fitting and it was a unanimous decision that he be the grand uh, marshal. We do have the, the new category which is the champions of the fourth and Lou and Kenny Friedman are going to be riding in that uh, stage coach from Wells Fargo with the horses and drawn horse buggy or wagon however you want to coach I should say. Uh, they're very excited about that. We have a lot of good things that's going to happen. We're going to even have a 75-foot uh, balloon bouquet as an arch that will stretch from the judges' stand to across the street. Oh, let me tell you about the shaded area that will be across the yeah, street. Yeah, because it was in the sun last year. Yeah, week. we want to make sure our guests, our, our uh, spectators are comfortable. They know what's going on. They're informed. And, of course, they know where the porta potties are. <laughs> Speaking of the porta potties and being in the shade, this year I heard that you're going to have a lot of water available too. So yep. I, I can't remember how much of the purchase price is going to be for the water, but it is going to be available because last year at the uh, beginning of the parade, right, right there, in the staging, there area. was nothing. Yeah. I mean, it was like I was just asking people around because you remember it was like 159 degrees out there. But this year, you said you're going to have water. Well, we will have vendors out there that will be selling water cheaper than the MID rate. Sorry, Alan. Uh, <laughs> but for the most part, <laughs> for the most part, Alan, you, 
Alan Short, he's doing a great job, phenomenal job there at yeah, MID. However, it would only be a dollar, but we want to make sure people are hydrated. We don't want anybody falling right. out. And yeah. uh, one other thing that uh, we're, we're looking to have is um, uh, the farmer's market to be right in, the, in front of Gallo Center. So if you want to come down and buy some popcorn or, or get your, your vegetables and, and tomatoes, just don't use those tomatoes for uh, particular entries you don't like. We don't want flying tomatoes. But you can still come down and buy some for yourself and your salad later on in the, in the evening. And uh, the one last thing I wanted to mention to you about the 4th of July parade is that um, in, in, the, on, in front of the judges stand, we're looking to put the Modesto City logo on the ground there. So when you actually are looking down at it with the camera. The old logo or the new logo? Well, uh, you have to be there to check it out. <laughs> <laughs> I've been talking about the new logo, so I'll, I'll be at the front of the parade. I'll be where the, yep, the yep, entries yep. come through. Okay, you can find out more about the parade at ModestoJulyParade.com, right? Yes, okay. all one word. Okay, and we have a Facebook page. You do? Yes. You do. Yeah. And um, If it, you go to the website, you can link right up and, right. and ask to be a friend, and we will be so happy to, to count you in as a friend of the <laughs> It's. I like your website, by the way. It's very colorful and our very. Our website. Our website. Our, oh, our website. That's yeah. right. I, She's on the committee. <laughs> okay. Talking points here. <laughs> Measure T. I want yeah. you to tell me about that. So will be prepared on Friday. Measure T. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, I'll please, read this very please, uh, say yes to Measure Measure T on your June ballot. Uh, for every no vote, we need two yes votes. We would hope that everyone would say yes because it's one eighth cents tax. That's a renewable tax. It's already in place. It's already in mm -hmm. place, but it will expire, and it needs to be re-upped. And we need, we definitely need strongly everyone to participate in that because it is 87% of the library's budget. There are 13 libraries in the county, and you can imagine 87% of the, those 13 libraries' budget will go down if this fails. We need your help. We've got to count on you. If you need information on that, you can actually go to our website, which is www.savethelibrary.com. It is Save uh, Stan Library, excuse me, savestanlibrary.com, or visit us at www.facebook.com, or you can go to our office at 1518 Coffee Road, Suite D, telephone number 529-2500. Can I take this home? So yes, I, I brought a couple of copies. But I had heard about that actually, about the renewable very tax. Important, yeah. Very important. You are also involved with the Kiwanis. Yes. Okay. What is, in 30 words or less, what is the Kiwanis about? Kiwanis, our mission statement, here's the 30 day, 30 words or less. Yeah, 30 day. <laughs> yeah, 30 words or less in 30 days. <laughs> is one child and one community at a time. That, that is our mission. And that is what we stick to, and that is what we uh, live by. And we've done that now in this city. Our club is 89 years old. Of course, I wasn't there 89 years ago, but we are 89 years to date. And uh, it started in 1915 in Detroit, uh, Michigan, as a networking uh, group. And it just morphed into doing community service, charitable giving throughout communities all across America. Division 46 has 16 clubs. There are 504 exact members in those 16 clubs that would go to Mariposa, Merced, uh, Modesto, three clubs in Modesto, two clubs in, in Atwater, two in Merced, so forth and so on. <laughs> but uh, I think my 30 seconds is up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have an event coming up. We do. It's the pancake breakfast. If you call me in the next 15 <laughs> minutes, I will give you a free pancake breakfast ticket. <laughs> they might hold you to it. <laughs> That's okay. 522-3066. My office number. I'll get the message. I can remotely get that, and I'll get you that ticket. <laughs> and you have a Lemonade Day. What is that? Lemonade Day is a new thing that has come up. Uh, Tammy Webb, who is instrumental in this, uh, is just on fire. 
Uh, there are already 700 young people who have signed up to be young business people for that day, which is May 19th, all over the city. The Chamber of Commerce has jumped on that as well. You know that I'm, I've been on the Chamber board for about 10 years now, and uh, we're all over that. I will personally be building a lemonade stand. There should be about 150 lemonade stands throughout uh, Stanislaus County uh, in on May 19th, and we're looking forward to some exciting times. And, kids will have their own plan and how they're going to do it. It will be assisted by adults, but that money that they raise will go toward charitable givings throughout the county. It's just going to be, you know, I guess we're going to turn lemonade into uh, sweet tea. <laughs> that sounds good. What is the age group for that? The age group, there is no age group. If, they, if you want to go to that website, please do. It would be modesto.lemonadeday.org modesto.lemonadeday.org has all the sign-up information. Anything you need to know about that is definitely on that website. And uh, that's where you can turn your lemonade to something sweet. Very good. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to come down here and, Not and a talk problem. to us. Because I know that's just four things. And like I said, everywhere I go, there you are. I mean, it's like you are involved so much. With the well, you know, so. hey, I love where I live. And, uh, if there's anything I can do to make it better, I want to be there to do that. So that's really important to me. You're a shining example. Thank yeah, you Yeah, I'm a much. talking head. My <laughs> shirt. I'm going to get a different shirt next time. <laughs> I really am. Thanks, Jeremiah. <laughs> and yeah. we can find you on Facebook as Oh, yeah, well. Jeremiah Williams on Facebook. And uh, love for you to befriend me. And uh, what I always do, though, I may not always uh, communicate, but if it's your birthday, I will definitely always send a birthday to all my friends. Very good. Thanks, Jeremiah. <laughs>